Welcome to Travelogue and to the Hainan series. We'll now depart Haiko and head south to the central part of Hainan where we'll mingle with the Li minorities and also spend a bit of time in the rainforest. You ready? Let's go! In the fourth episode of our Hainan series, we'll take you from Haiko to Ting'an County to get a taste of Hainan's rural tourism. We'll then continue south to Wuzhishan, the highest point on Hainan Island, where we'll spend most of our time in the wild outdoors. And the last stop in this episode is Baoting County, where we'll lap up the vibrant culture of the Li ethnic group. Our first stop in Ting'an County is this 800-year-old Taoist temple in Wenpifo. Now, I don't have much information about this place, hence we've had to hire a tour guide for this. Usually, Wudangshan or the Wudang Mountains in Hubei province is the first place that comes to mind when Taoism is mentioned because of the numerous Taoist monasteries to be found there. Not many people know of the existence of this Taoist temple in Wenpifeng that has been around since the Song Dynasty. Bai Yu Chan was a child prodigy who was able to compose songs at the age of seven. His father's death made him reflect on the fragility of life and convinced him to study Taoism. He traveled to many places to preach but decided to return and settle in Wenpifeng. And I can certainly understand why. This place up on a hill is so calm and serene, you can almost feel your mind being cleared. Next, we head to Ting'an County's Berry Hundred Villages. This is the largest area for rural tourism in Hainan. Some 320 eco-villages have been built in the county, with rest stops for tourists just a few kilometers away from each other. I really do admire how they cater to tourists without losing the integrity of the place. You can find rest stops like this in every town within Ting'an County. This is where you can rest, relax, have a meal and even rent a bike. This bike costs just 10 yuan for 2 hours. Such a good deal. There are several different cycle routes to choose from when you're here in Ting'an County. You could paddle among the banyan trees, or in the volcanic villages, or even alongside the paddy fields. We've chosen the latter as we've heard that many artists head to the fields to sketch and paint the beautiful scenery. He says that back in the Yuan Dynasty, there was a prince who was sent into exile here. He met a local girl called Qingmei. They fell in love and each planted a banyan tree. After hundreds of years, the tree grew into one. The locals commemorate this symbol of lasting, resilient love by calling it the lover's tree. Speaking of exile, Hainan was at one time viewed as a remote and forbidding place at the end of the earth. To the Chinese, it was the tale of the dragon fit only for convicts such as disgraced officials who spoke out against the emperor. But fast forward 2000 years, it seems like a particularly beautiful and friendly place to be exiled to. Ting'an is the home of Cheong Opera and every night they've got performances running from 8.30 to 10. I hear it's some party in there, so I think it's something we should not miss when we are here in Ting'an. It's really nice to be involved in something so local, to soak up a traditional performance and also to people watch. Unlike many local operas which are being saved from a slow death by government support, the Cheong Opera scene here is very much alive and kicking. It's really quite unusual to see something so traditional still going strong at grassroots level. Although I don't understand what's being said or sung, I think words aren't that important in situations like this. Their actions, intentions and energy overcome the need to understand what they're saying. 
and their passion, warmth and enthusiasm in keeping the tradition alive has touched me in a way I hadn't expected. I suppose I feel something akin to relief when I see the younger generation sportingly participating. It gives us hope that the tradition will live on for at least another generation. Next, we'll experience the wilderness of the mountainous central part of Hainan, conquer some deceptive rapids, and observe the authentic lifestyle of the Li people in the best preserved ethnic Li village in Hainan. Welcome to charming Nanjing in wonderful Jiangsu. After traveling on the road for roughly three hours from Ting'an County, we arrive at Wujishan City in the central highlands of Hainan. It has a comfortable average annual temperature of 23 degrees Celsius and the air is pure with 8,000 to 10,000 negative ions per square meter. It's easy to get to Wujishan City by bus if you're departing from Haiko or Sanya. However, you might need to consider renting a car if you're departing from smaller towns such as Ting'an. It takes about 40 minutes to get from Wuzisan City to Wuzisan, also known as Five Finger Mountain. The mountain got its name because its peaks resemble five fingers. Now, it's, I've been told that it rains a lot in the afternoon, so make sure you bring along your raincoat, some water and also insect repellent. When it rains, you come face to face with many creepy crawlies, especially leeches. So if you're not very keen on them and don't have insect repellent, you'd be advised before you set off for your hike to pull your socks up over the bottoms of your trousers and grab some salt from a nearby restaurant to sprinkle over the leeches when they're on you. That should make them fall off immediately. Most of the rivers and streams on Hainan Island originate from Wujishan, the highest mountain on the island. The first and second peaks are usually where casual hikers head to, while the third, fourth and fifth peaks are considered the dead zones, as they are too steep and dangerous. If that excites you, make sure you go with a buddy so you can look out for each other. As I take a short break by the stream, I start to wonder how Bear Grylls, renowned host of Discovery Channel's Man vs. Wild, survived filming in the thick and remote parts of Wuzisan during typhoon season. And here we are, turning back as it starts to rain. If you don't fancy getting soaked, you should avoid the rainy months of May till October and typhoon season, June to September. Okay, so the rain went as quickly as it came, but still, it topped the water we need for our next activity. Drifting. Wuzhisan's dramatic landscapes, coupled with its close to daily rainfall, make it perfect for drifting. Despite what they say about this activity being thrilling but without danger, or Yujing Wuxian, it's still best to exercise proper caution. All right, here we go. The whole journey from start to end takes about 50 minutes and I'm going to get obviously very wet here so I'm going to have to hand this back to the team. As I paddle in calm waters, I think to myself, what's so terrifying about this? It's completely soothing and far from dangerous. I'm half wishing I'd brought some food so I can have a picnic whilst allowing the gentle current to carry me through the picturesque surroundings. Minus those tree branches, of course.
That's until I hear the urgent gushing waters and see how steep the slide down is that I realize I've only experienced the calm before the storm. Okay, now I think it's my responsibility to warn you to please watch your back. Amid all the fun and excitement, I did pick up a couple of bruises. So please do be careful. That was like a ride in a water theme park, except it's so much wilder, less manicured, and absolutely unpredictable. And that's the fun part of it. We've just arrived to Bao Village. It's about one and a half hours drive from Shui Manxiang, and this village is by far one of the best preserved Li minority village in Hainan. The Li people are the largest indigenous group living on Hainan Island, and according to archaeological findings, the Li were the earliest settlers of Hainan that was over 3,000 years ago. With a population of about 1.3 million, scattered mainly across the mountainous central part of the island, the Li people live mainly on agriculture. And appropriately so, since Hainan is located in the subtropics, in a volcanic region where the soil is fertile and the rainfall plentiful. All in all, highly suitable for agriculture. This village is an ideal place to observe the Li people going about their traditional way of life. No demonstrations, no performances. This is just the way they are. And as I walk about the village, a smell wafts in my direction. Wow, this smells pretty strong. It almost smells like star anise or some other kind of spices. Nice stuff. wonder what this is. I'm not really familiar with the Hainanese dialect, so, but our driver, he knows how to translate. Shifu! <laughs> Let's the Li people are well known for their knowledge of herbal medicine, built up in the course of 3,000 years of practice. They've made an important contribution to traditional Chinese medicine. Their remedies for venomous snake bites, malaria, rabies and other diseases have proved to be very effective. The average life expectancy on Hainan Island is roughly 75 years. This longevity is thanks to its fresh, clean air, lush greenery, the simple way of life, and Hainan's traditional Chinese medical treatment. These Li villages are so remote, it only makes sense for them to make the best out of their surroundings. And this has led to the discovery of many natural cures. Coming up next, we'll isolate ourselves amid the rainforest, get down and dirty in the fields, and celebrate the ethnic Lee heritage with some music and dance.
From Wu Zhishan, it's about an hour's drive to the next county, Baoting, where we'll visit Qixian Ling, just 9 kilometers northeast of Baoting County. Though there are a number of different stories explaining the name of this place, Qixian Ling, or Seven Fairies Ridge, is essentially a mountain ridge with seven peaks. This place is famous for its many hot springs dotting the base of the mystical mountain, and it's best to hire a car to get there. There are only eight resorts here in Qi Tian Ling that have hot springs. And as to why I've chosen this, I'll show you why in a bit. Ni hao. Most resorts here nestle amidst the tropical rainforest. So while you're here, do take a leisurely walk and enjoy the sense of isolation you'll never get in the city. These resorts are located at the foot of Qi Tian Ling where the big draw is the curative powers of the natural hot springs. Here, you can treat skin problems, relax your muscles and joints, and stimulate your blood circulation. Some people's idea of a relaxing dip in a hot spring would be by the sea or up in the snow-covered mountains. But here in Qi Xian Ling, not only are you in a rainforest, you also get a high chance of rain. And trust me, that definitely brings dipping in hot springs to a whole new level. This resort has over 40 private villas with its own little garden and hot spring. And every villa has its own design. Guests are really spoiled for choice here. These villas resemble the houses in Xiangnan, the water town south of the Yangtze. It's a clever and tasteful blend of Xiangnan culture with the rainforest peppered with some local Li and Miao flavor. Many hotels over here take advantage of the natural beauty of their surroundings and offer as authentic an experience as possible to its guests. And this hotel's focus is on its paddy fields. On our way from Qi Xian Ling to Erika Valley, we stumble on this resort. It's built right by the paddy field, so you can be lulled to sleep by the deep croakings of the bullfrogs and be awakened by the crowing of the roosters. Uh, means this is our guest room area. Uh, I will show you when the room this way, please. Can you let me show you our room? Mm. One moment, please. To be honest, I didn't expect to find such luxury in the paddy fields. On the, uh, all of the third three room face to the paddy field. Yeah, wow, it's beautiful. Mm. So all of the rooms are... According to Tony, this hotel offers their guests the opportunity to head down to the paddy field to work. So, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> go. Hey, ni hao. Coming from Malaysia, I've never had the chance to plant paddy, so I'm quite looking forward to this. Now I truly understand the meaning of Li Li Jie Xin Pu in the famous ancient Chinese poem, which means there's hardship behind every grain of rice. Not bad, I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I could do this. Ah, <laughs> Oh, they do this three hours in a day. It's hard work bending down um, for three hours at a time. And I'm never going to waste rice anymore. Bye-bye. <laughs> Any fun? Hey, hey. Hey, you're here. Eh, 
，我的爸爸。哇，好烫，好烫！呼呼呼呼呼！哈哈哈哈哈哈！感觉怎样？啊？感觉怎样？啊，我可以做农夫了。Our last stop in the central route is Singlangku or Erika Valley, located on the border of Baoting County and Sanya City. It is considered the most important tourist attraction in Hainan as it is the place to experience Li and Miao culture. This is our guide, Tan Tan, who will bring us around Ping Lang Gu, Erika Valley, to learn about the Li and Miao culture. This place is called Erika Valley because it's situated in a valley several kilometers long surrounded by Erika palms and lush jungle. Here you can see a variety of Li and Miao culture on display. After all, Hainan Island is the traditional home of the Li people. Wow, this feels a bit more porous. This one is harder, so it creates a different kind of sound to it. This is different, so you use two hands to play it. Oh, okay. But you have a sound music, right? Yes, it's a sound music. Oh, interesting. The Li people's musical instruments are made mainly out of wood, bamboo, coconut shells, and sometimes ox horns. And that's their famous nose flute. The Lee people's love of life is evident in their upbeat music, songs and dancing. I wonder if it's Hainan's year-round sunny and tropical climate that affects the people and their music? Maybe. Wow, this is one of the most ingenious instruments I've ever seen in my life. I will put it up and let him see the local music. I'm so happy to bring you to the music. On Hainan Island, Lee boys and girls engage in a tradition called Romance in the Mountain. This involves them standing, singing opposite each other in two rows. Each time the singing stops, the boys take one step forward. This goes on until boys and girls come face to face and off they go into the rubber tree forest together. These Lee minorities are excellent climbers. They're right now going to climb up and throw some Erika nuts down for me. Hello, Ma. Ha ha ha! 
，没了。还有吗？有有有有。再来一个。不要那么高兴啊！还有更高兴的，你接了人家阿哥病了，你就是他的老婆了啊！你要嫁给他的啊 ！Oh no, I'm his！ 哦，就是这个传统吗 ？Oh no！ 你早不跟我说，<笑>你那两个阿哥都为了你爬山树了，那我装了，我拿了那么多，什么意思？那说明他爱你爱得很深呐、啊，你一定要嫁给他了，<笑>非他不嫁了啊 ！Oh，I'm in trouble！ <笑>下来吧。哎呦，我两个，我个头。哦，看我，哦耶！哦，哎，哦，哎，哦，哎